The best method of applying thermal paste is an often debated aspect of building a computer. I decided to put the most common methods to the test to see how they compare. I used an i3 7100T processor with a Noctua NHL12 cooler and Deepcool Z5 thermal paste, which is a medium viscosity thermal paste. Now since I build fully silent PCs, I removed the fans and used this cooler passively, both to get higher temperatures and to see how the cooler performs without fans. The CPU began to throttle itself after about half an hour of Prime 95's torture test, so I decided to record temperatures after just 10 minutes of the stress test, when temperatures would still be acceptable. I then decided to see how the temperatures dropped within 5 minutes after each test. Intel recommends a small blob in the center of the CPU. Arctic recommends a thin vertical line. For mobile CPUs, iFixit recommends spreading the thermal paste manually to cover the whole surface. Let's find out which method is the best. Here's what the test setup looked like. I started with the pea-sized drop method. After 10 minutes of Prime 95, I got a temperature of 83.5 degrees C. After an additional 5 minutes idling, the temperature had dropped down to 51.5 degrees. I then moved on to the thin vertical line method. I saw temperatures of 83.0 and 51.5 degrees. With the X method, the temperatures were 82.5 and 51. Using my finger to manually spread the thermal paste gave me a temperature of 82.5 and 51. Spreading the paste with the card gave me 82 degrees and 50.5. Spreading the paste with the card and applying a small thin line gave me an 81 degree max and a 50 degree low. Finally, I decided to test temperatures with no thermal paste. The processor began to throttle itself after just 9 minutes, at 91 degrees C. After 5 minutes idling, the temperature went down to 52.3. Do you notice anything interesting here? As the tests progressed, the results got slightly better and better, except for the last with no paste. It took several hours and the temperatures of the room had dropped a couple of degrees, from 24 to 22 degrees Celsius, start to finish. When I subtracted the room's temperatures, here are the results. Wow! With a couple small exceptions, the results are exactly the same. So the next time someone tells you, that's not the best way to do it, you'll know the truth.